Hey guys, so I'm back with part two of my, probably my last summer haul series for a while. Um, I know if you followed me last year, I was doing a lot more hauling and I'm doing really good this year in saving, but you know, I do have those shopping urges, so we can't all be perfect, but um, I did want to show you what I've been saving up for this mega video. It's actually just a lot of dresses. A lot of fun, bright coral, minty colors, and just lots of easy clothing that you can wear um, for casual days or dress it up if you want to. So, um, without further ado, let's get started with shoes because I've actually only bought one pair of shoes. And I know they're not very summer related, <laughs> they're more so round the year related. And I did get these at DSW, um, I didn't get much of a discount this time. But they are 100% Italian genuine leather from the region of Firenze and it's from the brand Mercanti Fiorentini um, and it um, just says Mille Noventi Cento Venti Due um, and it is their driving moccasin. It doesn't really have a name on it but I was fortunate to have been wearing these for a while now and I am just in love with these babies. They are the perfect summer staple and actually a good transition for the entire year. Um, I love that it has this very baseball colored cognac all around and you can tell like in the stitching. And my favorite part is of course the back, which of course driving moccasins mean it has a lot of traction and support on the bottom of the shoe, almost like your whole skeleton outline of your foot and then it also continues along the heel so it, thus it provides um, the rubber support wherever around it's just so comfortable and um, actually I lied it says it's made in Brazil but I mean the brand does come from Italy so it is somewhat 100% um, Italian it's just so soft on the front of the shoe it has like a buckle um, which I kind of think is so cute and just necessary it gives kind of a easy air to the classic um, kind of circa early 1900s when they did wear driving moccasins in Europe but I feel like this is going to be a really big trend not only for this year but such it's a classic staple driving moccasins you just really can't go wrong with some nice chino pants and um, like a plain white shirt and you're ready to go out the door so um, this is perfectly it just perfectly fits me it's a size 7 and I kind of do recommend getting um, if you are interested in driving moccasins especially made of real leather to get a half size lower because it's, since it is leather it will definitely stretch on you as you wear it over time and if you're intending to make an investment in these like I did um, it's gonna um, it's gonna last you a long time so the leather will stretch it won't wear too much but as you can see on the inside of the sole it is also leather so it's an entire leather piece of work all around um, and I just love these I have been wearing them not only to class but from post work stuff it's just so comfortable and even if you want to wear it I'm sure you've seen it on a lot of guys it's a very unisex shoe you can wear it with um, some Bermuda shorts, even shorter shorts like I have, and I'm in love with it. So, if I can still find a link on DSW, I will find it. Um, and yeah, so this is the box that it comes in. Um, don't know if I'll keep it, but it's just a very, very, very classic style and very grown up um, for young professionals. So, that is the only. Sh I'm gonna actually divide this into three different parts. And I'm going to show you the tops first and then go into the dresses and then more workout, more actually it's like tennis dresses, workout gear. Um, so I want to go into the tops first because it's very um, much more versatile than, than dresses and very much more work appropriate. Um, the first one that I got, um, actually I got all of these from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Ross, if I didn't mention that already. But I've actually worn this to an interview lately. It's just a very, very girly top it's of course polyester but it definitely looks like a nice Georgette chiffon shirt it has the white lacing um, in long this like square box right there and my favorite thing is not only does it have a very um, feminine collar which is this tie ribbon right there in the center it's a button-up but it's sleeveless so it's perfect for summer perfect for um, wherever you're traveling to in those hot summer months 
and it also is kind of like a baby high low because it is shorter and then longer um, in the back so this one is like in an extra small and I believe this was like $15 or something like that um, but it's from the brand Petticoat Alley which you've seen a lot of these um, in your Marshalls, local Marshalls, Marshalls so yeah I love this shirt you can never really get enough of this neon coral color. It is by the brand Monto um, Los Angeles but it's just a very very clean basic white shirt Again, um, it's sleeveless. It doesn't really have too much of a high-low, but it's such a basic shirt with not too trendy, but it, I have been looking for shirts that do have these kind of square um, square studs along the pocket. It almost looks rose gold from far away, but it doesn't really have much of a collar. Um, it's, again, buttoned up. And this one I got in actually a size um, medium because I just wanted it to be more breathable and I think it's a really good work appropriate shirt for if you're wearing going to work in the summer um, working indoors sometimes it gets really hot and you don't really you want to take off your jacket but you still want to look professional this is a really good um, transition and to work into play so that's why I picked up this one and I think it was around like fifteen dollars as well um, the third one is actually so cute. This one I caught my eye the first time and I just knew I had to have it. It does come in a size small, but I feel like, you know, for a classic polka dot print like that, won't be gaining much weight year round. And it's also again by the brand Monto, which it is a very French, um, French name. But, of course, you know, it wasn't made in France, but it just looks very chic, very, very classic, but still trendy. Um, it is sleeveless, but it has this kind of um, really easygoing peplum because it has like an elasticized waist right there, but it still kind of looks like a peplum, just very faded. And then again, it does have two buttons, um, I mean, what am I talking about? Pockets, not buttons. Um, but it does have gold buttons along the middle. Um, they are, kind of don't really work out, but again, on the shoulder line, it does have some buttons too. So um, it's just really cute. It has dots and buttons everywhere, and I think it's perfect for um, trying to look really cute and kind of relax, but professional too. So that's my third top, and I think this was around like 10 to 15, something like that as well. And it's I, all of these, I think I actually got these like in the junior section. So. They have really good, easy, cheap tops there. Um, I'm sure you could go to Forever 21 and find a similar one there. I just don't prefer to look through all those racks, and I just I'm not I'm not into that anymore. <laughs> this third one is actually not a top, but I didn't really know what kind of category to put this in, so it's just kind of by itself. And these are actually pajama pants, and I know you're probably like, why are you getting pants in summer? It's so freaking hot. And it is, but these had cute little lobsters on these. I don't know if you can see, but it just has orange lobsters all down every single pant. And it has like a little bit of blue lining as well. Um, it's by the brand Monkey Monkey. Um, Monkey Monkey Pajamas. So you could find this in their loungewear section. This was $12.99 as you can see, I still have the tag. Um, and then it's something fancy. This pants do, do run really long, and I consider myself to have pretty long legs, so they do, um, for some reason, they run really, really long, um, like I just said 10 times. The dresses, um, I want to start with this one. These first two are from Ross, actually. They have a really good dress selection. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of just glance over the dresses at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because I kind of know now they're not going to have a really steady collection. But every Ross that I go to, it's very, it has a good selection. Like, for some reason, it's just really, it's not picked over like every single TJ Maxx that I go to. And the ones that I especially go to for the Ross, they always have a good selection. Um, and I got this one and another one the same day. It's a size small, and I've been wanting to get a very, very classic boat line, um, three-fourth sleeve kind of dress. It's very, very boho, like 60s, but I can really see myself wearing this in the fall, the winter, with like some black boots, um, 
even just year round with like simple black flats or black high heels it's just a very very um, versatile dress I keep saying versatile but it is versatile because um, they do have so many shoes and of course like all these colors um, right now um, actually this entire year geometric patterns have just been really bold and I feel like I can definitely wrap this because like my friend, um, my bestie said this is me um, but in a more professional elevated level so I used to wear crazy things like this and I think it's definitely appropriate for work so this dress was such a steal I think it was like 25 and it's about like knee length as you can see it's very flowy um, and I haven't taken out the tag it's by the brand Emma and Michelle and I've never had them before so it's right there, Emma and Michelle. And then the next one, I've actually been looking for a dress like this for a while, and it's very, very popular print right now, which is just a classic sleeveless um, sheath with kind of like a handkerchief paisley uh, pattern with like, uh, what do you call it, chains on it. So it kind of has a, a lot of, lot of different patterns going on. But the reason why I got this was because I just am in love with the color combination of coral and purple. I don't know about you, I just think it's so, I don't know, it's flattering for my skin tone and it's just perfect for this year because coral is so in and I'm kind of getting over the whole coral and neon, um, I mean not neon, mint. So that's why I think that the purple is such a good alternative. And just to give you a little close up of the dress, um, has a little bit of ruching along the neckline. And I, I'm in just love with not only the pattern, but just how angular and geometrical it looks at the same time. Um, and then again, it is knee length, and this is a size 4 actually. So in the back, it just has a zipper, and it's the exact same print. So I um, hope I'm doing a good job showing you. That's kind of the bottom. But this one was around I think it was 25 I think I lied the other one was like 20 ish this was 25 so again very very good work staple dress collection I mean starter if you um, are looking for something like that um, this next dress I kind of went on a limb with this because when I tried it on I uh, was really hesitant because not only did it really fit well even though it is a two it was really really big and I kind of fluctuate um, I go anywhere from like a zero to a size eight in like H&M because they're crazy small. So this one is a two and it's really big on me. Um, and this zipper, this gold zipper down the middle of the dress is definitely workable. Um, I tried it on. It's like any other simple uh, body conscious dress. But what I really, what sold me on this was the kind of cap sleeve. And I just love anything cap sleeve. It's very just simple and classic and people will take you seriously. Um, and this kind of has a little baby pebblum on the side too. I don't know if you can tell the pockets like right there kind of flap out and it does have like a fake gold button. So yeah, that's the front and then the back is just, it's nothing on it. But the material is more of a kind of like a casual, um, casual but structured fabric. I don't really don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a basket weave. Um, but I know the camera looks coral, but in real life, it's almost like an orangey pink, if that makes any sense. So yeah, this one wasn't on sale. It was like $40, but it's still a really good classic dress. Um, it's by the brand Cheddar B. And then I have two more dresses to show you. This one I got from TJ Maxx, and I was also on the fence of this because I know the whole zebra stripe tribal delic pattern is very overplayed but for me I'm trying to build my dress collection I actually don't have a dress just a simple sleeveless with a v-neck um, and it is just like a just like a above the knee type and it's very 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 easy to wear I just am in love with the green and the kind of peach together it's it's very very tri um, safari and I mean I don't know I just I like it and I don't care if everyone else has this but this comes with like a really cool gray, um, green braided belt it's a really good belt actually the hardware is nice so when you wear it it comes with it and you can actually move it too but it just kind of gives the dress a little something to kind of um, cinch in your waist and it would be super cute with like brown wedges, like so cute. Um, so yeah, this one was I think 25 or something like that. 
I think I took off the tag. But this is by the brand Collective Concepts. And this is such a steal. I know why because I've been on PiperLime.com and I don't. I can't say that I've seen this exact same dress, but I've seen the brand Collective Concepts before, and it's not a cheap brand. It's almost like on the same level as French Connection, but a little bit cheaper. Um, and I just in love with this. And it also has. Wait, does it have pockets? No, it doesn't have pockets. So the only thing it would be great if it had um, pockets. But other than that, it was a really good deal, I thought, and so yeah, I just love that it comes with a really nice belt. Uh, and then my last dress to show you is actually a maxi. Um, I know I don't really buy maxis too much. I actually had a, quite a couple, couple years ago, I think I had like four or five, and then I thought I was set for life. Well, little did I know, they're not really like really easy to wear colors, like it's very hard like you know when you find one dress that you like but you can only wear it to certain occasions so that's kind of how I felt with my maxi selection so I kind of took it upon myself to rebuild it and um, I when I saw this in the store in Atlanta I kind of had my eye on it when I walked in and then when it came on an extra small I was like sold and like the price was right it was in the junior section I think for around like 20 20 or 30 dollars but it fits perfectly, it's a good length, you know, it goes all the way down the floor, and it has these three really bright eye-catching colors. Sorry if I'm waving it around, I'm trying to give you like the full effect. But it has my favorite colors, like mint, and then this like peachy coral and lime, and it just like continues like down there. So yeah, if you can imagine this kind of standing up, and it's just a strapless um, maxi, and I cannot wait to wear that, it's a really good, Really, really good dinner dress um, in the summer. If you want to go eat salsa in Mexican restaurant, it up. Um, yeah. So that is all of the dresses. Um, the next dresses that I'm going to show you are actually more for workout or tennis related because I feel like it's always around this time when French Open or Wimbledon or whatever US Open is going on, I, I just get the urge to play tennis. Like, I don't know why, and maybe it's just me, but when you see other people doing sports that you love, you kind of just want to do that too. Um, I think it's just our innate human nature. But anyway, so I've been on the lookout for tennis dresses and building my tennis wardrobe. This is super cute. Like, I would have never thought this is a tennis dress. Like, I, I would think this is a regular summer dress. And this is actually by Nike. It's a basic um, white at the top, and it kind of crisscrosses on the back, and the bottom has the connected skirt with shorts underneath with a very, very high slit, so that's why it has shorts. But I fell in love with it because of this orange and the light, um, navy on it, and it's just like, it just screams like resort play wear. Like, I just want to go to a golf resort and play tennis in this. Like, that's what I want to do. The back is so revealing, though. Like, here's the back. So, the bottom of the, uh, the top of the skirt starts right here. So, this entire thing is open. Um, and that's pretty risque, but for tennis. But, you know, for me, I like to push the boundaries a little. And, um, yeah, this is an extra small. I think when I tried it on, I was having a little trouble with it because I wasn't sure how to put my head in this thing. And then I also thought someone stretched it out, but I mean, I think this is a really good deal. And um, I'm gonna be wearing this for as long as I can play tennis. So that is the first tennis outfit, or tennis dress. I know you're seeing a lot of stripes here, but I'm just like a very stripey person. Um, and then the next one, I kind of already paired it with this top so I can know what to wear it with. So this top isn't really new, this is, um, Lululemon, but here's the actual skirt that I got. It is by the brand Fila, and I don't know. It's a little fun fact, but Fila is actually Italian bread, and it's it's a little known history, but it has it on its tag um, that Fila grew up with. You know, soccer is still in force and still is and always be, but they do have a lot of um, different sports. Um, that they care skirt. It's actually more of like a watermelon pink and I don't know what's gone over me but I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to be a little bit more girly or whatever but I don't really have anything pink um, as far as workout wear goes 
and it comes with shorts. So this is a extra small again. Um, and it has the logo on the left side right there. So it's just a very, very cute. It doesn't even look like a workout skirt because I feel like I see these kind of swinger skirts all over the mall and it just doesn't look like you're playing, uh, working out. So that's why I love it. And so, yeah, I just thought that pairing this, like, cute watermelon skirt with this mitt top is just, like, so cute. Like, I'm sorry. I just need to control myself, but I'm already planning tennis. It's really comfortable bra. It's really nothing, but I kind of caught my eye because I've always wanted to try dance skin. For the longest time, they're very much more of a light workout, light aerobic kind of brand. They're not, like, Under Armour where you see their commercials and trainers climbing up a mountain so this is a lot more yoga yoga centric clothing <laughs> I should say and it just has a really cute like blue flower in the back just a sports bra and I just I love periwinkle blue so I got that um, this next dress I was in love with like out of all the dresses that I think I got lately I think this one is like my favorite because it's so perfect I love the way that they design the it's almost like a color blocking like it reminds me of like a Rachel Zoe dress that I've seen lately and the top once again is like a white v-neck but it kind of cuts in the middle section like almost flapper like so it kind of just hangs there like on a doll if that makes any sense and then has it actually has a slit like not too high of a slit right there and I don't know if I mentioned this already but it's by the brand Wilson so it also has the W right there. And then here's my favorite part is the back. So the back is just so adorable. Like, can you not just stop looking at this when you play tennis? Like, it has all these cute little daisy flowers on it. And it's just so perfect for, like, resort wear. Just a cute little pick-me-up if you want to look cute on the court and get some lemonade or margaritas. After you play tennis, like, you don't even have to change. Like, you're ready to go. Um, so I hope any of you that play tennis, you kind of share my love for cute clothing when I say this, but, so yeah, this is like my favorite tennis dress. Um, so yeah, I think I'm actually going to try to when I travel to find tennis courts, um, so I can wear those and have a, a reason to wear them and not just in my neighborhood, <laughs> um, and look like I'm going to a beach. Um, and then the last tennis dress, I don't think it was really meant for tennis, but it's kind of like why not like because it's kind of looks like a beachy dress but it's kind of a classic um it's just a plain, plain classic swinger dress and the racer back is kind of unique it's very thin straps in the front um and then the back it has kind of like a stripe so here's the back and i really love that thick stripe it really just just looks classic and then also has like more really thin stripes along the neckline um, and then this one is by the brand Lola, so I'm really excited about this one because I, um, I've never heard of this brand and it looks so cute. So here's the, um, the tag, it says Lola, live on the go. We create clothing for women who live on the go, whether you're at the gym, running errands, or gathering with friends, we've got you covered. So I guess you could kind of wear it for any of your errand needs, but... I predominantly got it for tennis just because I think it will be perfect with some white shoes and a really good racket. So um, yeah, that was a lot guys, I have this mountain in front of me, but if you have any questions on clothing, um, let me know. You can definitely find Marshalls or Ross using your um, store locator on their website. I think it's like marshallsonline.com or tjmax.com and then you can type in your zip code and. If you don't live near a TJ Maxx, I suggest you go check it out. It's everyone's favorite store if you're into finding deals. And as you can tell, I found a lot of good deals with like tennis related workout and dress stuff. Like it's just a one stop shop and I'm addicted. So, anyway, so that concludes my fashion haul. I hope you guys took away something from this and either you found me entertaining or you just like looking at clothes. I know when I see other people's hauls, it kind of 
puts douses my shopping experience so I don't have to spend money and I can just watch other people spend money. So if you feel the same way, definitely thumbs up or like this video. Uh, follow me on Instagram and I'll put all the information below. And until then, hope you guys are staying cool wherever you are. Bye!